You cannot be a great leader without touching the depths of another soul. True leaders guide others toward the accomplishment of meaningful objectives in ways that strengthen and expand all participants, mind, body, and spirit. Resilient leadership goes beyond our own thriving to thriving and serving. Meet the man who taught me this lesson, my life's greatest mentor, Judge Max Rosen. In the 1970s, Judge's community asked him to lead after they experienced the worst natural disaster in American history, Hurricane Agnes. One of Judge's initial messages to his community, in times of great uncertainty and need, you will have doubts. Also have hopes, have dreams. Flash forward to seven years ago, to a time Judge had passed on and I had largely forgotten too much of his wisdom. I was actively consulting and speaking, publishing my second book within a year, helping raise three small children, and I was burning the candle at both ends. I set myself up to get sick. During long hours of bed rest, I found myself thinking about how Judge had lived. I made a promise, if I recover, I will write a book to share his lessons. It ended up that re-immersing myself in Judge's wisdom and writing Walking with Justice actually helped heal me. Flash forward a few more years, my own small community in Iowa is reeling. We have just lost our third teen within six months to suicide. Amidst profound grief, we were experiencing blaming and finger pointing and divisive ugliness. I recalled what Judge taught about leadership. He said, true leaders understand that leading isn't about them or about having all of the answers. It's about looking at the needs in front of you and asking, do I have something unique that can help? Holding up this mirror, I saw I am a psychologist, a resilience researcher, a lawyer, a mom of teens, a member of this community. I can do something. I picked up the phone and called community leaders, educators, politicians, media, mental health professionals, business owners, parents. I said, I do not have all the answers. What I have is a belief. A belief that not only can something good come from these tragic losses, but something good must. Resilient leaders believe that within the darkest moment, seeds are being planted for growth and transformation. Without that life-threatening illness, I would not have written Walking with Justice. Without Walking with Justice, the National Resilience Institute would not exist. A nonprofit hard at work, nurturing hope and saving and strengthening lives. Everything in and around us is gift and it has been given to share with and enrich others. Judge taught me this from the first day in his chambers. He said, Molly, you did not get here without the help of a long list of people. Now, you are a lawyer, you are a leader, and our community is in need of your skills and talents. What are you going to do to make a contribution? I was so inspired by Dr. Molly's talk. Her resilience tools, they were easy to grasp and easy to implement. She was warm, she was genuine, and she had some great stories to tell us. If you're looking to strengthen your leadership and improve your resiliency, Dr. Molly is your gal. Destiny whispers softly. It does not shout. It is not a bully pushing us to where we don't want to go. It quietly nods to the choices we make. The greatest power we have is the power of choice. And it is our choices in the small moments that define our leadership in the larger moments.